So in this fourth video, looking at the ZDSP, we're going to look at the clocked delay card. And the chip that this uses doesn't actually provide a clock input by standard, and it's an FV1 spin chip, which is in lots of other Yoro effects and guitar pedals as well, but they don't have this clock in. So with a little bit of code wizardry and a little bit of magic, they've got a clock input. So let's listen to a beat, and we're going to flick through these eight algorithms, play around with the external feedback path as well, and then we'll check out a little synth line through these delays after the drums. So I'll start my beat. And it needs a clock signal that's got a pulse width of between 25 and 50%. Short triggers won't work. But that's easy to work around with a lot of clock modules and other clock sources. This is all documented in the manual as well. Let's check out some delay. And for this first algorithm, we've got a divide left and a divide right, and that second input is used for the clock. Let's add some feedback. And we've still got the actual clock rate that we're running at, and we can downsample this like we have elsewhere. So let's plug in a audio rate clock. And I'm going to decrease the rate of this clock that I've just plugged in with that green cable. It's got fully wet. You can hear all that top end's muted, we're getting some noise as well. lovely more lo-fi crunchy delay going on let's bring some dry back and take the clock rate back up nice and clean but let's take that clock rate right down Lots of noise, which is really cool. And there's no feedback built into this algorithm, so we're actually using the analog feedback. For now, let's turn that down and skip to the second mode, which is a mono clocked low pass. And this has a feedback and a low pass built in, so we won't need the analog path to get these delay trails going. This is a mono clocked delay that's got a feedback and a high pass this time. Turn the feedback up. That sounds great just sitting on top of that beat. Algorithm 4 has a band pass in its feedback path. Add some analog feedback as well. Again, those filters in the feedback path work great. This is a dual clock delay. We can hear the different delay times on the left and right. Feedback. This is a clocked ping pong. Let's turn the feedback down.
And we can hear that swelling from left to right. It's had some nice stereo movement to an otherwise mono loop that I've got split into both inputs. This is a dual clock delay with a high pass and a feedback loop. With that high feedback ringing on top of the beat, let's lower the sampling clock rate. And finally, a dual clock delay, we have a low pass in the feedback. And again, let's lower the clock sample rate. Nice sort of muffled texture in the background with that added noise from a lower clock. Let's check out some of these clock delays with a little synth sequence. So here's a simple synth sequence, and let's flick through some of these clock delays and check out what it sounds like with a synth sequence rather than some drums. Nice feedback path with that low pass. Let's check out the high pass on the third algorithm. And we're gonna lower the clock rate going into actual clock input for the sampling. Nice grungy and more lo-fi textures again. And the band pass. Let's adjust that clock rate again. The dual delay. Again, you can hear that left and right stereo delay. Ping pong. We've got the feedback there, so we were clipping by having these free feedback paths going. Dual clock delay with the high pass in the feedback. Again, this one sounds great, lowering that sampling clock rate. Got this more sort of underwater rubbery lo-fi thing going on. We'll bring the clock rate back up. And finally, the dual clock with low pass.
let's get rid of some of the clarity with a lower sampling clock rate. So a wide range of tones, some in stereo, some giving this nice width and this extra tone with this low pass, band pass, high pass in some of the feedback loops. We can use our own feedback loops, processing it through filters or distortions or even a chorus or some other effects that you want to give these delay trails a little bit more spice.